Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about data connectors in Microsoft Sentinel. Now, this is the first thing that you should know in terms of understanding how exactly data ingestion is going to work. Okay, so the very first thing uh, that we should think of or that we should choose in terms of beginning with defining the deployment strategy for Microsoft Sentinel itself and that is the log formats. The very first question that you should ask that what all log formats uh, I'm going to capture and which solution is generating which log format. So if I talk about typical industry uh, standards, uh, there is WEF which is Windows Event Format. Then you have common event format CEF basically the logs which are generated by network solutions like let's say router switches proxies or firewalls and then you have dedicated syslog log format which is generated by linux as a os end to end and lastly i have also mentioned any log format now the question can be why exactly i have mentioned this the reason behind mentioning any log format is to make you understand that practically there is no supportability limit with Microsoft Sentinel. Now, what do I mean by this? That basically you can access any log format or basically you can ingest any log format to Microsoft Sentinel. You can define your own schema, which is having your own key value pair specific, let's say attributes. And then you'll create a specific table altogether and get the data ingested. Okay, so this concept of defining a supportability table when it comes to log format, it does not even exist in Microsoft Sentinel. You can ingest any log format, period. It's that simple. Okay, now let's talk about the default data ingestion and custom data ingestion part. Let's divide it this into two different categories and let's make it simple. When it comes to default data ingestion, anything that is available out of the box can be classified as default data ingestion, which means I can just go ahead and install my AMA agent either on a Windows machine or on a Linux machine. And then I can go ahead and capture WEF format data, common event format data, syslog data from any of these two machines. But when it comes to custom data ingestion, assume that there is an application which is generating a log and that is getting saved in a specific file altogether. Then with the help of AMA itself, you can define the location of the file and the data ingestion will happen provided you have created the table already. But when it comes to APIs, you have to interact with the respective APIs altogether, get the table created and then you can ingest logs. Now you can use PowerShell scripts, Python scripts, or you can also develop a middleware, or let's say you can also develop a capability in your application itself, which can directly ingest logs to Microsoft Sentinel. I know this is slightly more overwhelming, but don't worry as we move along with this playlist, I will make sure that you understand each and every aspect when it comes to data ingestion itself. Okay. Now, this is the deck that I have used in uh, my scene playlist where I was talking about how exactly data can be ingested for a specific seam solution. And there were three different examples that I was talking about. The very first one was agents, files, and APIs. Now let's understand how exactly it is going to work in Microsoft Sentinel. So the very first aspect is Microsoft Sentinel data connectors. It is an out of the box configuration that's available on Sentinel console itself. It's a service to service communication, which can happen, which means Microsoft Sentinel can directly query your AWS APIs and get the logs ingested directly into Sentinel. The other one is Azure monitor agent, wherein you have a dedicated agent for windows and a Linux as a platform. And the same agent can also capture logs from specific files. And the last one is log analytic API. Now, this is something which is exceptionally important for you to understand. And that is that when it comes to Microsoft Sentinel, it is actually the log analytics workspace where you are ingesting all the data. So when it comes to API interaction, you will be interacting with log analytics API, or let's say practically speaking, Azure monitor APIs to make sure all the data ingestion happens end to end. Okay. Now, this is something which is exceptionally simple. There is a dedicated playlist altogether in terms of understanding how Azure Monitor Agent works. 
now log analytics api that i will be covering this is something that i will be covering in upcoming videos but in this video i'm going to emphasize on microsoft sentinel data connectors because this is the very first aspect with which we are going to get started okay so assume that you have set up microsoft sentinel and everything is working you can see all the tables everything is in place right but now assume that you want to ingest data from a service which is not offered by microsoft i mean some third party service or let's say some other cloud provider in this case let's take an example of aws okay so a typical process will be the first step will be for you to go ahead and navigate to this particular section of content hub and search for aws as you can see i have already searched and i have practically already installed this connector of aws web service just assume this is the first step that you have to do it's it's called data connector and you can actually find it in content hub itself now if i talk about let's say six or eight months back uh, there were some data connectors which are already listed over here so you can just go here and you can search for your data connector and then you can get it onboarded however now this entire process has been changed step number one is to go ahead and search for your data connector in the content hub itself now data connector as an entity itself is a package of multiple different solutions we'll talk about this in a lot more detail as we move along with this playlist in this particular video my agenda is to make you understand how exactly data ingestion works that's it now here i have selected my data connector which is aws and now let's say you're doing this for the very first time instead of manage you will get install now once you install the data connector then you can click on manage now once i will click on manage it will show me everything that can be configured which is moreover related to aws this can be rules this can be hunting queries this can be workbooks this can be anything but then the category of uh, let's say the solution which we have to focus on is this one which is data connector now let's say if i click on this and if i now click on open connector page it is asking me to provide some information okay and the moment i will give this then i can just go ahead and get my data ingested to my sentinel workspace altogether okay so now the question is how exactly the data ingestion is going to work with the data connectors okay now this was aws let me show you one let's say for microsoft itself okay let me show you the one which comes by default okay let's uh, let's talk about microsoft defender xdr okay you can see it is showing me all these different information and if i click on install it will take a couple of minutes and then it will ask me to provide the respective account details so that the data ingestion can happen now even though i'm going to talk about these data connector specifically in a different video altogether but still i'm showing you all this to make you all understand so that as we move along things will be exceptionally relatable okay so now let's understand how exactly the data ingestion is going to work data connector as an object is basically a combination of every instruction that you have to follow in terms of querying the data now data connector also has a configuration in terms of making sure that the data get ingested or data reaches the data ingestion pipeline and from there the data goes to your log analytics workspace let me explain you this with an example assume that you have a cloud provider uh, which is making sure that all the data is available through a specific api okay now in this case you have to query the api and then you have to get that data ingested correct this is the first and the most simplest process that can be achieved okay now data connector which exists in microsoft sentinel fundamentally queries these apis with the credentials that you have provided and then make sure that the data reaches the data ingestion pipeline from there it goes to your log analytics workspace and since now the data is ingested to your log analytics workspace you can use microsoft sentinel console to interact with that data now here you can replace 
this cloud provider with any of your cloud solution okay now fundamentally understand that microsoft itself offers you n number of different solutions and let's say you want to access or you want to ingest data from microsoft defender suit to your sentinel console which is this one which i was showing you now if i click on manage what you will see over here is the list of all the tables that will be queried that means all this configuration is something which is predefined right there must be some template that has been created or some configuration which has been created which is allowing you to access or get this data ingested into your sentinel now for those of you who know how microsoft defender xdr uh, generates data these are all different tables that exist in defender portal so let's say if i go here and if i show you the advanced hunting console what you will see is the commonality in terms of table nomenclature which is available here and in your sentinel console fundamentally it means that every table that exists over here is kind of getting queried with this particular connector okay and all this is happening because of the default configuration that exists that is available on the console itself now here you can see it is actually checking all the permission the very first permission is to make sure that i can ingest data the second one is whether i am geo security admin or not in my specific tenant and then i can choose the respective tables and all the data will be ingested okay this is just an example the same process can be done for some other connectors as well so fundamentally a data connector is basically a set of instructions in terms of what is needed from an access point of view to query the data from a specific api that get then get that data ingested to data ingestion pipeline and from there it goes to your log analytics workspace now the last aspect that i would like to talk about from data ingestion perspective itself and that is microsoft sentinel cost now there are two different aspect in which microsoft sentinel cost is actually calculated the very first one is data which is analyzed and the data which is stored now for all obvious reasons i'm not going to suggest anything from a cost standpoint i would request you all to read the official documentation by microsoft itself however there is one setting which i can show you which is more over related to commitment tier of sentinel itself so likewise we define in the workspace similarly we can also define a commitment tier for microsoft sentinel so this was all about knowing how exactly data ingestion works in Microsoft Sentinel, how exactly data connector works. In the next video, we'll get started with enabling data connectors and I will explain you how exactly multiple components gets installed whenever you onboard a specific data connector. So this was all about knowing how data connector works. So if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.